Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about how to uh, do it for fluent weight. See in the, my previous video session time, we are able to see for implicitly weight and explicitly weight how it will work, right? The fluent weight, now we are going to see okay fluent weight also it will work the similar format uh, explicitly weight but there is a small difference what means the explicitly weight it will take for two objects one is a driver and another one is time okay when you are going for explicitly weight it will take for some additional things one is full frequency ignoring exception what type of element we need to accept like accepting like uh, uh, we need to jump right ignore some exceptions that exception should not be comes to here like that we can able to use some exceptions also by default we can able to in case if you see explicitly wait if your expected condition dot presence of element is located if that particular element if it is presented then we can able to get it if you mouse over facing the dog here you can see the presence of element what will happen the expect expectation of the checking the element is present on the DOM page. That does not necessarily mean that the element is visible. The used to find the element returning web element once it is located. If that element is located, then it will give you for true. Okay, it will, it is a visibility of that. But in case if that particular element is in the, it is not presence in a DOM page, then we can able to get for the element's presence, it is not visible. Okay, but doing this, we can able to use for some other way also. Okay, the uh, and also it is taking for some time. It will wait for 10 seconds itself. Okay, but we don't want to wait for 10 seconds, but once the element is presented, we have to jump. In case no means we need to get some exceptions, ignored exceptions, how we can able to use it. And same one, I'm going to use it. Okay, with a little bit change. This is a fluent weight purpose, okay? And I'm going to use for one here for waiting one, okay? And also in the time it is basically at 10 and then I'm going to use for comma, pull frequency. Pull frequency is every one second. And also I'm going to use for ignore exceptions. It will take as an array format. We can able to uh, provide for any kind of errors. Before that we need to provide some exceptions here, okay? From, we need to pull some uh, exceptions. Selenium dot a common dot exceptions import element not a visible exception, okay? No such element exceptions. Like this, we can able to n number of exceptions we can able to pull out, okay? Same exceptions we need to provide here as well. Here is square basis location, okay? And how many exception you are going to pass, that many exceptions you can able to provide here. It will accept it, okay? But it will take is a array format, okay? Once you provided, everything is same. Nothing is different. Only thing is that particular formatting type only uh different will be there okay remaining almost all everything same okay then i'm going to take similar format element presency okay then i'm going to click here Okay, now here accessibility ID and this is my accessibility ID one and accessibility ID this one. Okay, and I'm going to use for up to here. Okay, now my accessibility ID I provided. Then I'm going to use it here. And it is expecting for paragraph format.
the okay now see the, this is the fluent weight here the different you can able to see driver it is we have provided time also we have provided but additionally we are providing for full frequency means 10 times we need to make the pulling every one second it will uh, rotate a millisecond it will rotate whether that element is visible or not if it is visible and which time then it will visibility is presented in case in the time is fifth second it is visibility is presented then it will go on click and jump out of that okay there is a one we can able to do it now i'm going to run similar format of uh, mobile like uh, uh, web application how we are going to uh, do it right the similar format here as well okay nothing much different but only the format little bit waited and it is clicked now see everything is working as expected nothing much different okay this is a way we can able to use it. Even we can able to close after completion of this entire execution, we can able to use it for quit. Driver dot quit. Okay, if you are use the quit, right, what will happen? It will uh, close that particular app after execution is completion. Okay, this is a way we can able to do it. Okay, I hope it this fluent way also you uh, understood. We'll see for next new topic thank you subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues and don't forget to comment on this video thank you